Hey guys, so today is Black Friday from your perspective and I just thought I should give you some advice. Now for those of you who aren't American and don't know what Black Friday is or maybe, I don't know, do you have that in other places? I don't think so. But anyway, it's this day, the day after Thanksgiving, American Thanksgiving, when we buy a bunch of stuff because it's on sale. Not because we want it, but because it's on sale. Why? It's a good question. You might be wondering, where does the name Black Friday come from? Well, basically it comes from the fact that originally it was a day when every company that participated sold eggs and they would cook those eggs in a very special way to attract new customers. And they were like, look at this new thing we did. We have fried these eggs for so long that they've turned black. Black fried egg. But then they decided to start having it on a Friday every year and the name just changed over time. It's a little bit weird, but it's true. I, you gotta believe me. So what's my advice for Black Friday? I think you should try to turn this into a day that's profitable for you. So here's the five step process. Step one, shoot a rocket filled with salt into a cloud that will seed it for rain so that it starts raining. Step two, stand outside of lines for stores and sell ponchos. Step three, sell ponchos at a large markup. Step four, y you're, you're done, but I said it was gonna be a five step process, so step five, buy a yacht. And if you buy a yacht, you'll probably be able to get a good sale on it because it's Black Friday, so there you go. See what I did there? A good sale on it, because it's a boat. Probably not a sailboat though, but maybe it is. You got a sailboat yacht, it's possible. Why, if you order from the cubicle.us using the discount code pockets while you're on that yacht, you could get a chi sale. For, for for probably some money off because the cubicle is probably having a Black Friday sale. But then if you use that, you're probably using their Black Friday discount code, which I assume they'll have. I don't know, that's what they usually do. And you're not using mine, so maybe like wait until tomorrow. I feel like I've gotten off track. Speaking of tracks, another thing you wanna do on Black Friday is keep track of your possessions. So anything that you have that isn't connected to your body, you should tie a string to and then tie that string to your wrists that you just drag around a bunch of stuff. An additional bonus to doing this is that if you're on a yacht, like I suggested, you can tie things to your wrist and then trail them in the water and you can catch some fish while you're on your yacht. Of course that's assuming that one of your loose items that you're carrying around is a worm or some kind of lure or other fish bait, but I mean who doesn't carry that around so you're probably good, right? If you're not carrying around a lure or fish bait, go buy one. It's Black Friday. They're probably having a sale. Now that's a monetary sale, not like a sailfish, although you could catch a sailfish with that new fish bait you've bought. You should probably look into that. Buy some sailfish bait. That way you can get a sail uh, on sale while you're sailing. Of course, this all only applies if you're in the United States or some other place that celebrates Black Friday, which I think might just be the United States. So if you're not, get a plane ticket and come on over here. They're probably on sale or get a sailboat ticket. That way your ticket is on sale whether or not you save money. If you're coming from South Korea, you could get a sale on your sale from Seoul, or if you're coming from the underworld, you could get a sale on your sale from Seoul. And in any case, that should cover most of the world's population, assuming most of the world's population is in the United States and South Korea, which it probably isn't. But I've run out of things to say, so I will now say, so long, so long, okay, bye.